Ahoy friends, welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and this is a project to build a Chamberlain Racing Dory from John Gardner's The Dory Book, illustrations by Sam Manning. Today we'll be out in the shop, and we're going to be uh, cutting and shaping the stem head and possibly the transom and uh, in preparation of putting on the beading um, that extends the rail cap out to the uh, stem and stern. So yeah, let's get out there and get working on it. So first thing we'll be doing is uh, Cutting these cutting these uh, these bits of beading to length. So it's five foot up the stem and five foot up the stern. So we can cut the stock we've got in half. And that'll be uh, ample on either end. So we got eleven and a half feet here, so cut I'll cut it out of five and a half. Make a quickie cut here. So this uh, beading is basically an extension of the rail caps. Um, the caps cover the, the blocking, the rail blocking. Um, the blocking is sawn to shape, so it's you know, similar to a sawn frame. The blocking is not bent in. It's uh, it's cut from a from a board uh, to the curvature of the uh, boat, and then uh, and then it's nailed in. So so the caps the the blocking is pieced in between the uh, heads of the frames. So the ends of the frame, the ends of the frames here, and um, so there's a break in the blocking between the ends of the frames. Let me just make sure I got this at the right length. Okay, yeah, five foot six. So plenty, of, plenty of length there. Um, so yeah, the cap goes on over the, uh, over top of the blocking and basically covers the frame heads. The cap is cut to shape as well, you know, just like a sun frame. So it's cut with curvature in it. Uh, these, the beading that 
continues from where the calf ends out to the stem and stern. This is bent form, which is possible because it's a much smaller, much narrower piece of wood. So it bends fairly easily, as opposed to either the blocking or the cap, which won't bend at all. All right, so we got four pieces now to make the beading out of. And uh, let's start with the stem and work towards the stern. Okay, so here's the piece of beading, and here is the end of the cap, the rail cap. So, what I'm going to do is uh, nail and glue this down, and we've got to trim the rail cap back to where this, um, to where this We'll intersect it, intersect that curve. So, yeah, I'll do that now. Okay, so, first thing we got here, I've got the uh, end that I just, just cut with the uh, box saw. Uh, so I can get the actual dimension of the bead and then what I want to be able to do is uh, nail this on with uh, one, two, minimum two, possibly get three nails into it before I have to start bending it around the, uh, around the boat. So this is where I'm going to cut the uh, rail cap. To, uh, to get it the right width to join on with the um, with the bead so you can see I'm gonna cut it end up cutting about uh, three quarters of an inch off the rail cap here and I marked it that the at the angle of the bead is gonna come in uh, So that will get glued and nailed on there, and then, uh, and then the uh, bead can get bent into shape. And I can show you how, well actually I don't have a clamp at the moment, they're all on the other side of the boat gluing the rail. But anyway, so yeah, this, you can see this will flex pretty easily. So the next thing we need to do is uh, figure out what we're doing with the stem head. And I think what we're going to do is bring the um, bring the bead right up and land it on the side of the stem head. So what that means we need to do is we got to get the shape of the stem head basically wrapped out, the final shape. So what I've been thinking about the stem head, taking a look at um, at the Dory book um, and some of the old photos and that, some of the drawings. Maybe I'll go snag it and bring it out here so that, uh, so that we can have a look at that. Okay, so you can see here's the uh, drawing by John Gardner of the stem. So the stem comes up about an inch and a half or so. 
uh, above the uh, shear strike in this drawing. Here's a photo of a uh, alpha dory. And you can see the uh, stem isn't standing quite as proud in this photo as, uh, as in the drawing. Here's another photo of another alpha, also with uh, not a terribly tall stem. And here's a wonderful photo of an old alpha in racing trim in the Marblehead Harbor. And again, not a terribly tall stem, but you can see there is something there. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll, uh, there's a knot in the uh, stem, which I want to see if we can cut out of the stem. So I'm going to, I'm thinking we'll leave the stem as long as we can while cutting the knot out. And the objective is to leave the stem long enough so that if we decide to at a later date, we could drill a hole through the stem and, uh, and have it either be an eye to tie a loop of, or to splice a loop of rope through, uh, possibly for a bow line or something, um, or where you could drive a peg through it and have it be like a little cleat up there. Uh, but we're not going to drill a hole through it uh, to start. I think we'll uh, we'll just cut it as is and leave it uh, leave it proud. Here's a um, a model of an alpha dory. You can see the stem is a bit more prominent in this model, but it also doesn't have a hole through it. There's a uh, eye bolt that goes through the stem which is what the uh, forestay and the jib attach to. Uh, there's also an eye, we'll, we're also gonna put a bow eye on the boat a little bit lower down, and then there'll be an eye on the inside of that bow eye that you can tie off a anchor line to. Uh, that way the anchor line is accessible from, you know, just inside, but inside the boat. If you let all the anchor out, um, you can still get to the line without having to reach right out to the to the exact stem. You know the line will be uh, will be made off down inside uh, about a foot and a half, two feet down the stem. So I think that's what we want to try and do. Let's get back out to the shop and uh, see what it looks like in uh, wood. All right. So there's the stem. And you can probably see what I was talking about with the, uh, we got a knot hole right here. And uh, there's a pretty good sized check that runs down to about here on this side of the uh, stem. Um, yeah, looking pretty, pretty clear, clean over here. This is some of that uh, gorgeous Granby oak. Um, let's see if I just got a piece of scrap wood here. Take the take the sharp end off it, and so we're coming in just below the the uh, knot there. So what, we'll, what I think we'll do is we'll cut this cut to this line, and um, and then we'll see if uh, see if we need to go any further. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, got a little chunk of wood for the uh, barbecue this evening, and the rest of it will hopefully uh, <coughs> be in the boat for another 50 years or more. Alright, so, this is... Uh, we've got for the stem at the moment and I think what we're going to do is run the bead up along here and then just end it against this flat portion of the stem. Um, yeah, I'll probably grab the uh, belt sander and shape this a bit. Once the bead lands on the stem then I think we'll stay, take the stem in a little bit and bring it up just to uh, lighten up the look of it a little and uh, then there'll just be room for a rope hole through there if need be at a later date. Alright, so I've trimmed the end to the right length and the right angle and uh, I've got a a sealer coat of glue um, on the rail. So like I said, this uh, bead goes on right over the joint between the blocking and the uh, shear strike. So where the outside plank comes up and then the blocking is up against it, this covers that joint. Goes on right over top of it. Soak the end grain there. Right. So we're looking good here. Oh, Got to get the end grain on the. right here ready to go screwdriver in this sort of situation. Make sure. 
sure you don't split anything. So now I can gently bend it to get to the next drill spot. And what I want to do is where the where the uh, where the piece of wood starts coming off um, coming off the off the spot where I want it on the edge of the hull, which is like right along the edge of that shear plank. That's when I put a nail in. So I can now get a good bend here. So I can space the nails out a little bit more. So as I'm nailing it, I'm just gently uh, bending it onto, bending it to where it's supposed to be. And I'm leaving this end, see this end is off. I'm just flexing it enough to get the next nail in. I'm checking to make sure that I'm going to end up in the right spot up here. It's looking good. Uh, so, so you definitely, it's uh, you know, nice to have this pre-cut so that it's, uh, you know it's going to end in just the right place. this right in tight to the stem for the last bit. Wipe up 
the glue squeeze out because I don't want it running down the side of the boat. Alright, so that's where we're at. Okay, so here we are, and you can see how this has run out a little bit past the stem. What we'll do is we'll trim that back right into the stem. And then the um, there's a, a oak rail that runs along the outside, and that, this, that will come up and finish off right where this uh, bead ends as well. It won't go all the way to the stem. And then here we are back at the, um, and we'll you know, put a little chamfer on this, fare this into the rest of the uh, top plate, and you know, that's it. This all gets, uh, gets uh, pine tar and linseed oil stain. So it's pretty much a black rail, but uh, yeah, that's the um, that's the beading detail. So next video we'll be back here at the uh, transom. We've got to do the same thing, marry the uh, marry the bead stock into the end of this. Uh, rail cap and then back here at the transom <clears throat> the uh, bead is actually run past the transom so we're going to need to cut the transom in a tiny bit I believe and then and then up so it's going to come in and then the the end of, the edge of the transom up to the height of the bead and then that's where the uh, that's where we put the round in the transom and uh, there's going to be a sculling notch in there as well so anyway something for another video though because we're pretty much out of time on this one thanks for stopping by building the alpha dory um, it's a uh, really great to see you guys down in the comments and uh thanks for all the likes and subscribes and uh yeah just look forward to seeing uh, everybody next video hope you have a great day and uh god bless bye